How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And I want to let you guys know the private group is here. Whether you're an investor or you're a trader and you're looking to build wealth inside the stock market, then this group is for you. If you are interested, you can find the link down inside the description. We'll be happy to have you a part of the family. So today we're going to be talking about OCGN. But before we get started, you know what time it is. It is time for the joke of the day. If you're new to this channel, we do this five days out of the work week. Maybe you had a long, maybe you had a stressful day, or maybe it was the market conditions. Well, you came to watch this video, plus you're one of my corny jokes. Here it comes. What do you call a factory that makes okay products? A satisfactory. <laughs> I know, it's corny, right? But anyways, what we're going to be talking about today is OCGN. We ended up having a choppy market today, so I want to make sure I give you guys this update so you have a game plan and you know what to look forward to or what to expect if you are inside of this play. So now let's jump into the agenda very quickly here. We're going to be going over doing the technical analysis, taking a look at the overall price action. This is definitely key because we want to see areas of support. We want to see where OCGN is going to be showing some strength. The reason why this is important because this can give us a good direction in regards to how the stock price is actually performing and we could compare it to our expectations and then secondly we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution we want to know are institutions loading up what are the inflows what are the outflows this is key because it'll give us a great idea as far as how the rest of this week could potentially look and then when that is done we'll be going over to final thoughts and I'll be giving you guys some more key details so let's jump into it so we're going to be doing a technical analysis for OCGN let's see how it performed on the day so it ended up closing at seven dollars and sixteen cents being down four point nine one percent on the low it tested six dollars and 96 cents and then on the high testing seven dollars and 46 cents and just for your information we are using the one year daily chart so we want to see how it's lining up with their indicators you can see from the rsi down below we're at around 43.13 so yes we are getting into that oversold territory and then when we take a look at the indicators on the chart here of course we see strength above the 200 day we are below the 21 day ema and as well as the 100 day we've already talked about key areas of support for OCGN. As we know, we are seeing a fairly choppy market here. A lot of growth stocks and as well as penny stocks are feeling the brunt of it. But what we want to see, I want to see OCGN continue to hold up support in the following areas. Right here around this $6 level as well as this $6.50 level and also to see a continuation of it holding up this $7 level. We got to $6.96 and we showed some strength being able to close at $7.16. If this volatility continues i want to see ocgm being able to hold up seven if it can't hold up seven then of course we're going to see how well it could hold up right around the 680 area and as well like we spoke about that 650 in order for this pattern to actually reverse and for ocgm to start looking bullish again not only will we need to see actually a more better rotation going into growth stocks and as well as penny stocks but we need to see it climb above the 21 day ema here at seven dollars and 79 cents and get back into that eight dollar range so i hope that catch you guys inside of the loop and look forward to see how the rest of this week turns out now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for ocgn so we can see here on the inflow we had 27 and on the outflow we had 34 and of course this is in the millions here so we had zero on the large we had 17 on the medium and we also had 11 on the small for the medium, for the outflow, we had 23, and for the small, we had 11. So we had the outflows beating out the inflow. When we take a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, we could see for July the 7th, which is today, we had zero. So no large orders whatsoever from institutions. But we did see some exchanges in regards to medium orders. So like I was talking about in the technical analysis, we want to see OCGM be able to hold up certain areas. These areas in, protect, in particular is the $7 area, $6.50, and as well as $6 as we get to the near 
near the end of the week. And why is this important? If it ends up breaking through $6, we already know where it could possibly go. So at least with the other areas, we already know, you know what? There's another area of support to back that up. If it continues to actually have this selling pressure, especially if the market does begin to recover, then of course there's gonna be some more negative sentiment inside the stock. And you're gonna have many people that are come out and are gonna be saying, yeah, this stock's not going where I'm selling and so forth and people just getting impatient. But if you've been in this play long enough, this is something that you're already aware of. But at the same time, if the market ends up actually picking up in regards to sector rotation here, because the market is actually doing fairly strong when it comes to the bigger cap stocks, but we want to see some momentum coming back into penny stocks and as well as growth stocks. And of course, OCGN fits in these particular categories. So now let's jump into the final thoughts. So for my final thoughts for OCGN, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what the short interest looks like later on in the evening when it does come out. You guys can put that down inside the comment section of this video and you know I'm going to be keeping my eye out so I can see it. The next thing I want to go over when I took a look at the short interest, taking into consideration the close from yesterday, it was well above 33%, right around that level. So OCGN does have short squeeze potential, but there are also a lot of shorts that want to see some downward movement in the overall stock price. And it's part of the reasons why if this week continues to be choppy for growth stocks and as well as for penny stocks, stocks, then we want to see some strength off of those support levels like I mentioned. Another thing also to understand, this play is reliant on certain things happening. We're waiting on news, certain catalysts. We want to get the update, what's going on with Canada in regards to that emergency use. We also want to get an update in regards to how's the progress going with OCGN working alongside with the FDA, is there any updates, or how about the trials that need to be conducted on US soil? These particular things I'm looking forward for us to get some updates on, and I feel like if we do get some updates and they do some press releases on this, it could help with the stock as well. But if it continues to be as quiet as, as it's been, as of late, then we're going to continue to see some downward pressure. And I just want to make sure if you are a shareholder that you are definitely aware of that. I feel this is very key. And like I've said in previous OCGN videos, it's very important to have high conviction if you are in this particular play. Because if you don't, then you're not going to be able to handle the volatility and it's just not good for your mental health overall in general. So know what the risks are. And if you believe that Ocugen and as well as Barat Biotech can get everything sorted out, we can get this EUL, which we're going to be hearing about in the second week of August, and everything just follows through, then things are definitely looking good. And as far as where the stock is right now, this might be an opportunity for you to actually say, you know what, I might think about getting to a position or maybe averaging down if my cost is too high. But of course, wait on that and make sure you have the right strategy. Hope you found this video helpful and we'll be talking real soon.